If you record your video and audio sources separately and then try to bring them together and sync them manually in a editing software, you may know that it's a very tedious and could be drawn out process. Well, Final Cut Pro has a super easy way to do that with just one click. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done in Final Cut Pro. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here to Final Cut Pro and show you how easy this is. So I do have a new project started right down here and I have my clips that I wanna to sync together already imported. You'll see I have one main video clip here and then I have four separate audio clips. I got all three microphones separately plus the sound pads from the Rodecaster Pro. So I wanna combine these all into one clip so everything is synced up together. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of these clips here. I'm going to right click and then come down to synchronize clips. And then I'm just gonna rename this, say main. We'll just keep it at main to make it easy. And I usually keep this disable audio components on AV clips unchecked, just cause I've had some issues when doing some editing. And so with that unchecked, have no issues. So this is how I do. And then all you do from there is hit okay. And then it's gonna take a minute or so, depending on how long, this is kind of a longer hour long video. So it may, might take a few minutes, but it's going to sync all the audio clips together with that video clip. And you're gonna notice that once it drops in, it's going to create one compound clip and we're gonna be able to edit everything together from there. All right, and now that it is done syncing those clips, you'll see it made one new clip. So you'll be able to tell which one is your synchronized clip because it has this icon here in the preview area. So if you see that, it almost looks like a video clip or something, but that, that'll show you that that's your new compound clip with everything synced together. So just take it and drag it down into your project and you'll see everything is kind of in one clip right now. But what I'm gonna do is you're gonna double click into that and it's gonna bring all your audio sources. And if you have multiple video sources, it's gonna bring everything together that it synced up. Again, I only have one video source on here just because I have a camera switcher that does it all through a program. So I have my main audio source, which was through Ecamm Live, but then I recorded everything separately through the Rodecaster Pro just so I can change the volume or if I have to fix a microphone or anything with somebody specific microphone, I can go in here and change that easily. And you'll notice that not every clip lines up perfectly. It's kind of hard to see here, but like if you hit record on one source before the other, it's going to account for that. And so it'll change the length of it. So you can go ahead and edit everything through here that you need to. I'm going to go ahead and since I don't need this main video source where I had everything, I'm going to go ahead and mute that. And now I have all the different microphones and the sound pads down here as well. And you can just start editing from here. So if you need to edit the volume or anything with the sound, you can go through here. And then you can also add in different types of audio sources if you need to, or like if you want to put in subscribe buttons, you can drop it in here. Or you can also, if you hit this back arrow that's right here, it brings you back to that main compound clip. And then you can also edit from here as well. But going back into here, so you'll see there's a lot of kind of dead space before we get to our intro. So just to show you how easy it is to edit from in here, I'm gonna highlight over here, hit Command Shift B, and it's gonna break all of those clips at the same time. Highlight those and hit Delete. And then bam, we're right at the beginning. Everything synced up. And we're just gonna let that go Jameson. through. And this is where you could check your audio. Again, if you wanna run the audio analysis through here, you can go ahead and do that. Maybe bump up the volume of a microphone, but you go here and if there's anywhere you need to edit, you can go ahead and break those clips up, edit directly through here. And you'll see at the end, everything's a little bit off. So then I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want it to end right here. I'm gonna hit Shift Command B. Those all break right there and then hit delete and those go away. So say I'm done editing everything I want to in here. I'm gonna hit this back arrow. It's gonna take us to this main clip. One thing that you do wanna make sure is at the very end of this, there may be some black space right here. This is basically everything that you had cut out. So if you upload this as is, after your video plays, it's just gonna have all this blank dead space basically. So you're gonna wanna make sure you cut that out. 
So you're going to go back here. I'm going to just go back where the video ends right here. I'm just going to hit command B, break that, hit delete, and it gets rid of that. So if you do any editing within the clip, go back to this main compound clip here, go to the end and delete any blank space that it may have because you don't want that uploading to your finished product. And that's it. Super easy. Even easier than iMovie. iMovie makes it pretty simple too, but this is even better because it automatically does everything in the background and combines everything in the one clip. And then you can go in there and edit however you want to. So hopefully that makes your editing life a little bit easier if you're bringing in a bunch of different audio and video sources. Like I said, if you use different cameras, do the same thing, just highlight everything you want to combine and sync together and it'll create one compound clip for you and just makes your life way easier instead of having to manually line up everything and change the duration of the clips and it's just way easier. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down in that comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button to be notified when we come out with content just like this. Thanks for watching.